And now we'll go on to the final figure of the set, which is the fourth Doctor. And I have to say, I've pulled this out and I really, really like this figure. It's fantastic paintwork. I really like how they've done him in his waistcoat, even though we didn't really see much of him in his waistcoat. Um, no, we mainly saw him in his season 18 costume. Uh, and this costume. with the scarf and the coat on. Um, but yeah, no, it is really nice that we've seen a different variation of the fourth Doctor since we've been seeing the same one a lot recently. Uh, well, some of the figures have only ever seen the season 18 version once, but anyway. Uh, yeah, mine does have a bit of a funny eye, <clears throat> but uh, that doesn't really bother me, you know. He can look whichever way he wants, he's a doctor, really. Um, yeah, as you can see, the head, both heads, they are the exact same sculpts. Um, you could actually, I doubt you ever want to in a million years, because I've done it and it really does look stupid. But you can take the scarf off the Season 18 Tom and put it on this one. Uh, because the hair still has the missing bit there. I doubt you'd ever want to do that. Make Tom look like an idiot. But, yeah. Just a heads up. You can. Um, so, yeah, the detailing on this figure is fantastic. Uh, with the golden pattern on the waistcoat and the gold question marks uh, I don't think they were ever gold, they were more of a red I'd say but um, yeah it is still really nice uh, the same legs from the season 18 Tom the same hands and the same head but overall it's a fantastic figure and we have, and he does come with a sonic screwdriver, which is really nice because he did use his screwdriver a couple of times in the episode, in the story, I should say. So yeah, um, <clears throat> a fantastic variation of Tom. Um, really is good. I really do like it, and I checked. And the, the body, this whole body bit is a brand new sculpt. Um, articulation. I seem to be forgetting to do this. Uh, the head is a 360, but I don't recommend you do it because it can wear off the paint. The arms do 360 at the shoulder, and they also have ball joints. Uh, this is the latest big thing. Which we've seen. Yeah, series six figures. Yeah, wall joints all the way, really. Now, um, yeah, a fantastic figure. Um, so anyway, uh, the. Arms to 360 biceps, uh, band at the elbow, 360 at the wrist, um, 360 at the waist, uh, the legs, bottoms here go in and out, uh, no paint there, but you know, you don't really want to do that with Tom, do you? No, of course you don't. Uh, bend at the knee, no articulation, but um, we do have a 360 at the boots. So yeah, real overall, fantastic figure. Yeah, really nice. Uh, the only issue I really have with this figure 
is that um, sometimes if you do uh, put the, the arm to the waistcoat, uh, red paint does get up. You know, it's this flimsy white stuff, and uh, the red from the waistcoat can uh, kind of rub on to here. But, you know, you can take it off just by, you know, sticking some water on it and rubbing it. So, yeah, really nice figure overall. Fantastic. So, um, now we'll move on to the final thing of this set, which is the source manipulator. Now, I didn't, but it's quite odd that we saw this and we haven't seen an Adric or Nissa since uh, the fourth. Uh, the in the box it, it does actually come with the fourth doctor holding it but it was actually Adric and Nissa who created this to um if you haven't seen the episode they made this to destroy the source so that the Malchus statue uh of the master couldn't become the new keeper. Uh now yeah, that's pretty much it. It would destroy the source, but the Doctor had a better way. So, yeah, um, really nice detail. Uh, uh, it doesn't really look like it is on, on screen, but, um, yeah, really good. Uh, this is all right and stuff. Uh, colours are a bit different, but, yeah, um, now, this, the spherical the spare piece in the middle uh, is actually from is actually the control from Davros's chair in the uh, in the Destiny of the Dalek set, which is actually quite cool because that's what they did with the actual prop, and you can take it out. So you have a spare. Well, not not really, but you know. Um, yeah. So, overall, this is a fantastic set, uh, really is good. Um, if you're a fan of the episode, uh, I recommend this set. I quite like um, The Keeper of Trakham. Uh Quite a good storyline to it. Uh, but yeah, it is a fantastic set. Definitely 10 out of 10. 11 out of 10. Yeah. Uh. So. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this review. And. Yeah. Goodbye.